Hello and welcome to this Gibbs Cam Tips and Tricks video from 3Datum CNC Solutions. I'm David Shaw and today I'd like to show you a quick easy way to generate chamfers that are not 45 degrees. I've seen customers go to a lot of trouble uh, on an irregular shape like this sweeping a shape around this to subtract from this to make a, a non 45 degree chamfer. And uh, I've seen customers, you know, slicing and dicing models to, to generate an edge and a face where they need them uh, in order to generate that chamfer. It's really very, very simple to do chamfers that are not 45 degrees. So uh, let's just dive in. I'm going to turn off my coordinate system uh, plane and I'm going to turn off my stock just for clarity. And let's look at the solid modeling under advanced modeling, the chamfer function. The chamfer function automatically uh, creates a chamfer that uh, the angle is half of the included angle of the faces that you're chamfering. Uh, so on a typical 90 degree uh, corner like this, you would end up with a 45 degree chamfer. So what if we needed a chamfer other than 45 degrees? Uh, let's say that we need a, a 30 degree chamfer that comes uh, a quarter of an inch back a quarter inch wide by 30 degree chamfer. Uh, it's very, very simple, very, very quick. I'm gonna turn on my edges and select that edge and we'll do a quarter inch by 45 degree chamfer like this. Then we can select this edge and select the chamfered faces here. And if we go to our draft, we can use this to adjust draft. Right now, there's essentially a 45 degree draft over that portion. Uh, I can change that to 60 degrees and I've got my 30 degree by quarter inch wide chamfer. So let me undo that and let's look at another scenario. Let's say that we had a chamfer that was defined as being an eighth inch deep rather than being specified by the width. I can do the same thing. Uh, select that edge and we will do a chamfer of an eighth of an inch. The way that this chamfer is calculated, it'll be an eighth inch from the theoretical sharp corner to this edge as well as in the z-axis from the theoretical sharp corner to this edge. So since this edge is where we need our 30 degree chamfer edge, we select that, we select our faces, go into our draft, and change our chamfer angle back to 60. And we have our 30 degree by an eighth inch deep chamfer. I hope you find this video useful um, to add another tool in your arsenal to uh, speed up and simplify programming. Uh, if you have suggestions for future tech tips or uh, videos on pretty much any subject related to Gibbs Cam you'd like, be uh, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I will try to do a video for you. I appreciate it. Have a good day.